outside Oslo testing the new Marex 375. Now you may know that Marex are famous for producing incredible aft cabin boats. They managed to squeeze voluminous aft cabins to both this size, 37 foot. So why, you ask, would they produce an aft cockpit boat which pitches them against all sorts of other people? Well it's really all to do with choice, they just want to give their, their customers as much choice as possible. Uh, but beyond that, what makes this boat fantastic is not just the choice, it's the profusion of incredible, ingenious, practical ideas. Uh, so we're going to have a wander around the boat and I'm going to take you through, uh, through some of those details and uh, show you why this boat uh, stacks up so well as a real practical cruising boat. What I'm about to show you I think ranks as not only uh, the most brilliant idea on this boat but possibly one of the most brilliant ideas you're ever likely to see on any boat of any uh, shape or size. So uh, let me demonstrate. So just a few seconds. And then using these little sort of ingenious bungee cords, these can be very quickly clipped on all the way around the perimeter of the cockpit. It only takes a minute or so. And it can be done underway uh, when you're traveling along. So if the, if the uh, weather changes, it's uh, quick as a flash. You can have this area completely enclosed along with this sliding sunroof over here. Uh, this idea, of course, like a, a, a switchable backrest, isn't new. Uh, but as usual on Merrick's, what I like about this, it's the implementation and the detail, the sort of functionality. So incredibly fast and easy to do. Nice thing is this, this geometry raises the seat up, so even a short ass like me can see out uh, really easily on this seat. And of course, the practical details like pockets and maps, uh, and a great big handrail here to hold on to when it gets bouncy. On the face of it, this looks like a, a really sort of neat way to hide uh, the mooring lines and the associated clicks. In fact, it's much more than that. What you've got here is a whole fender locker. So you can leave your fenders tied on at the right sort of height for your regular mooring, and then just drop them over the side. And there's a second, uh, second locker further forward as well. So four fenders at the back end of the boat where it's most vulnerable. For a 37 footer, moving around this boat is exceptionally easy nice reasonably wide side decks with deep tow rails here in handrails but the real key to this uh, working very well is this handrail it allows you to dive down inside the cockpit if you want but if the canopies are up you can actually negotiate all the way around the back of the boat using that very safely this twin cabin uh, single heads boat has the classic sort of center line double but it's the mid cabin here that i'm sitting in uh, which is the extraordinary achievement it's the scale of everything and the storage as well is just bonkers really we're talking about 11 big drawers or wardrobes or lockers uh, and the scale of the berths and the headroom as well this double berth is five foot ten across so quite a few people actually sleep the wrong way around on this it's all much much roomier and more storage rich than you would expect on a boat this size mm -hmm. 